in this session let us uh, try to solve two problems from old gate at uh, no load conditions of alternator the armature of a single phase alternator is completely wound with t turn coils so this is t turn coils distributed uniformly the induced voltage in each turn is 2 volts the emf of the whole winding is okay so if you have for example 2 volts in a turn if i consider t turns sorry directly 2 into t should not be because did he say anything about that uh, what do you say short pitching angle no so pitch factor will not be there okay so pitch factor will be directly unity but if you think of distribution factor for example if i have alternator stator and single phase alternator for example if i think of two poles n pole s pole okay so here if i think of for example this is positive maximum a negative maximum a dash okay now if i have one more conductor here return conductor will be here if i have one more conductor here return conductor will be here if i have one more conductor here return conductor will be here so windings are distributed or not yes uniformly distributed so distribution of the winding should be considered or not yes because like you know for example from here means one conductor will come back to back path again it will be going in this direction back to back again it will go back to back again it will go back to back so all the windings are going to be connected in series okay so distribution factor has to be considered or not yes because my winding is distributed okay so what is the what is the angle of distribution for example for single phase here and here these are all connected to the back to back path of this okay so distribution factor has to be calculated now he did not give any number of slots kind of thing so directly phase spread let us consider how much is the phase spread from here to here phase spread is 180 degrees of course electrical as we discussed previously the electrical angle only should be considered so what is distribution factor equal to sine sigma by 2 by sigma by 2 what is sigma phase spread so this is going to be sine 180 phase spread by 2 divided by 180 by 2 into pi by 180 because previously i told you clearly that this particular thing should be in radians only okay so radians 180 by 2 into pi by 180 so this will come down to 2 by pi now what is the induced voltage total induced voltage 2t is run what is the total induced voltage equal to 2 okay by pi distribution factor and per turn 2 volts and how many turns are there t so this is going to be 40 by pi will be the answer so that will be 1.273 t okay now let us see another question another question in this question 20 actually in this question like you know many times they will give more data than required okay and people like you know may run behind that particular data see a 20 volt alternator i will show you how much unnecessary data they have given okay 20 volt alternator is having 180 identical slots stator slots with six conductors in each slot with six conductors in each slot all coils of phase are in series because i told you the reason also why in alternator normally all the coils should be connected in series okay all the turns because output voltage requirement is more if the coils are connected to realize single phase winding the generated voltage is v1 if the coils are reconnected to realize three phase winding star connected the generated phase voltage is v2 assuming full pitch single layer winding the ratio of v1 by v2 is i'll tell you in this session i will uh, what do you say we will get the answer first and afterwards i'll tell you why this question has been given okay so in this let us can uh, let us consider induced voltage of single phase which is called as here he named it as v1 is going to be root 2 pi f the average flux okay and the number of turns connected in series and kp kd okay now let us think of three phase okay this is going to be per phase voltage only 
because by equation we are going to calculate per phase voltage only so that is going to be root 2 pi f pi number of series connected terms for 3 phase into kp for 3 phase into kd for 3 phase okay now they are asking v single phase by v three phase okay so root 2 will be get cancelled pi will get cancelled f will get cancelled pi will get cancelled and did they give any information about short pitching angular uh, like you know coil span no they did not give so in both cases kp will be unity only so equation will come down to number of series connected turns in single phase into distribution factor for single phase divided by number of series connected turns in three phase into distribution factor for three phase okay now let me think of number of series connected turns number of series connected turns is going to be okay if i think of as i told you previously also means total number of slots how many slots will be there we have to consider total number of slots multiplied by in each conductor how many slots will be there how many conductors will be there in each slot so that will give you total number of conductors total number of conducts by 2 will give you total number of turns okay so total number of slots multiplied by in each slot how many conductors are there total conductors multiplied by 1 by 2 will give you number of turns in single phase all turns will be considered all turns will be there in a single phase only into kd of single phase divided by in three phase also same thing total number of slots into conductors per slot will give you total conductors total conductors by 2 will give you total number of turns and out of that turns that turns has to be distributed among three phase so per phase it's going to be 1 by 3 into kd of three phase okay so again slots will be cancelled conductors will be cancelled 1 by 2 1 by 2 will be get cancelled okay now let us calculate kd of single phase previously only we calculated kd of single phase that is 2 by pi so kd for single phase equal to 2 by pi okay let me calculate kd for three phase three phase is going to be what is the phase spread let us consider for example if i consider this as an alternator for two phase okay of course in this number of poles given are two but like you know in electrical angle when you consider two pole is enough so if i have two poles here and in our previous session i told you clearly that under each pole all three phases should be there okay so for example a a dash b b dash c c dash so a b c all phases are there per pole are not yes okay so if i have per pole 180 degrees electrically so means per uh, what they say phase how much it will be per phase how much it will be it is going to be per phase 60 degrees phase spread will be there okay so means sign sigma by 2 by sigma by 2 is going to be phase spread is 60 here so sign 60 by 2 divided by 60 by 2 into pi by 180 okay which will give you 3 by pi okay so let me add those values here this is going to be kd of single phase kd of single phase is how much 2 by pi divided by 1 by 3 into kd of 3 phase 1 by 3 into kd of 3 phase is going to be 3 by pi okay so 3 3 will get cancelled pi pi will get cancelled equal to 2 okay so answer is going to be 2 problem is solved problem is solved but now why they have given this problem okay means what is their intention to give this problem let us analyze okay see here let us calculate power okay so if you calculate single phase power yes in single phase is going to be v phase i phase okay so if i think of v phase i phase let me compare this with three phase connection okay so in single phase single phase by three phase we calculated so single phase phase power phase voltage is nothing but two times three phase so this is going to be two times v phase for a three phase into i phase okay i phase will be decided by area of cross section of copper 
okay so it means let me calculate s of 3 phase s of 3 phase s of 3 phase is how much 3 into v phase i phase so 3 into v phase i phase 3 into v phase of 3 phase okay now if i calculate s of 3 phase divided by s of single phase equal to 3 v phase 3 phase i phase 3 phase v phase uh, 3 phase i phase so 3 by 2 is going to be 1.5 okay now let us analyze this okay so in between single phase and three phase volume of copper requirement like you know area of cross section of conductor will be decided by magnitude of current magnitude of current we consider the same that's why i phase i phase we cancel okay so area of cross section of copper is same volume of copper is same or kind of like you know material requirement is same okay so all over in an alternator total material requirement is same cost of the machine is same but if you design the same machine with single phase same machine with single phase and same volume of materials if you use for three phase okay so in three phase power handling capacity of the machine is going to be 50 percent more compared to single phase okay so means if you think of again let me repeat if you think of if you use the same volume of materials and if you design the machine for three phase, power handling capacity will be 50% more compared to single phase. Because of that reason, they have given this question.